Now this thing has never let me down. We're almost ready. All right, all right let's get that battery in. Ugh. Only way to get it to fit over there. There's too much flora and fauna in the way and trees and stuff like that. Hey, Yvonne, I got something for you. Remember I said that we once had a 77 Cadillac at the farm? That was about 15, 16 years ago, maybe more. I just found this beside the Subaru. <laughs> just about ran over it. There's proof. You need a spare hubcap with lots of corrosion. I sure as hell don't. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there for more memories in the future. Now to get that battery in. So there's what we got. Now let's get some action. Okay, now this thing has a rust hole in the oil pan. Very slow leak. It's had all winter to leak out. So I'll just start it for a short second because I just checked the dipstick and there's no oil on the dipstick. Oh man. Ugh. High speed, two wheel drive. There we go, we got some dash lights. Alrighty. Oh, just like last year. Instantly. Alright, no oil, gotta shut her down. That's sweet. Not much starts better than that. This thing wasn't even made in Canada, that's the hard to believe thing. Still runs like new. We're stuck. Stuck in the mud. Oh well. That's a good cold start. Sweet. Now let's go see what the beach looks like this time of year from a different point of view. So there's the entrance to come in. Buildings over yonder. Look out point where my easy chairs are. It's right there. Nice breeze up here. Thin layer of ice on the lake. Lots of puddles where they're not supposed to be. A little bit of open water near the ice. Dock is flooded. Yeah, it's a little deep right now. It's halfway up the slide. <sighs> yeah, the beach is kind of uh, half washed out too. And there's Sky Hill over there. And if you watch that white Mazda 626 do a jump, and he got out and he only spilled half his beer, that's the hill. We cut the tree down he hit a long time ago for safety reasons. And one more chair for sunny evenings. So we took a long run all the way from the entrance. And he won our jumping contest that day. Cool. And there's Evelyn's recycled garden shed we made into an outhouse almost blown over by the wind this winter time. And soon those geese will be back here polluting the beach. We got to scare them all away. Canada geese suck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's see if Garrett's piece of hanky starts this year. The 93 Tercel or whatever it is. It's been sitting open like that all winter. Still got my battery on board. All set doesn't seem like any of the doors open so I don't know how easy to get his fat ass in here this summer so I'll reach into the window and see what happens 
It's in park. Oh, yes! What a car! I told you, Garrett. Tempo suck and Toyota's rock. A little bit of smoke. Doesn't even misfire anymore. How's that possible? Now all he's going to do is fix the broken axle and be all set for this year. Now I don't want to put gas in that car because the owner who owns it never pays me for the gas I put in it. So that's why I'm not going to start it. Cool. He don't come out stuck. Oh well, it was perfect. Well, it was a good day, so back to home base. Everything started that started last year. Oh yeah, almost forgot. We got this buddy. Come on buddy, let's start. I love 3.8s. Sweet. The only one I left the battery in all year because I could oh, just run the extension cord out and charge it. If you want a really cool job for next season, here we go. Stop by down here to have a look. As expected. Red line. Remember, it's always good to red line them after sitting for six months. Sweet.